Okay, working on a 1997 Buick 3.8, 3800. And what we're going to address is our PO102 mass airflow circuit low trouble code. The procedure we're gonna follow for this one can actually be followed for a PO103, which would be a circuit high trouble code. So as you can see, our current code is a mass airflow circuit. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna look at some data on the scan tool, we're going to look at mass airflow grams per second and we're going to look at mass airflow frequency. So we got the scan tool under the hood. Our mass airflow sensor is right there on top of the throttle body, three wire mass airflow. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually take that connector and we're going to wiggle it up and down while we're watching the scan data. And what we want to try to do is we want to try to catch that, that glitch or dropout. Right now it looks pretty steady. All right, hold up. So we got 2,600 hertz. And we just started the car so our idle is a little bit uh, higher than normal. Usually about 2,400 hertz is the typical idle speed frequency on a GM mass airflow. Um, something else we're going to want to do here to help us is let's graph this. So go to a two-pid graph for me. Scroll down. Okay, good. All right, let it idle all the way down. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a snap throttle test first just to look at the range of a mass airflow. And this is actually one of the ways you can tell if you're dirty or not. It's peak frequency. Wide open throttle, peak frequency. But the key with this is you have to let it idle all the way down, let the manifold empty. And then what you want to do as, as fast as you can, wide open throttle snap to red line. And so I'm going to do that. Let it idle all the way back down. What's my number up there? The bottom one hurts? The top one, yeah. Uh, top of the bottom. Four. 8400. 8, One more time. What we got? So, same thing. So we're looking for 8500 hertz. That's the number we're going for. We hit it. 8429. 8429. I'm okay with 8400. I'm giving you a spec of 85. We're at 84. So what that test tells you is. This is not a dirty mass airflow, right? Our 102 code, chances of it being from a dirty mass airflow are pretty much slim to none. What we're gonna do now is a wiggle test. And where you wanna wiggle it would be, it would be right, right here at this the connection itself. Any changes, any glitches? Not showing it. Not picking that up. I don't see any. I don't see any glitches on the screen. So, no caps are using the scan data for this thing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go. With the, with the scope up front, we're gonna take a look at it with a scope. Definitely weren't seeing it on the scan tool there. Okay, again, 1997, Buick LeSabre, 3800. We got a mass airflow trouble code, PO 102. What we're doing is we're, we're doing a scope test of the mass airflow. We have a T-pin installed and we are uh, on the signal wire, which is yellow, the yellow wire is a signal, the black with the white sensor ground, and the pink wire is your 12 volt feed. So we're on the signal wire. And what we've done is we've actually graphed the frequency. So this number is a graphed frequency, this 2.35 KHC, that's this flat line right here, uh, is, a, is actually a square wave. Okay, this is what the signal actually looks like. If you were to look at this on a digital multimeter, what you'd be seeing is this number up here, this 2.6, 2.5, 2.4 volt signal. And the way the signal looks when you rev it up is you see fre frequency is going to increase. So 
not the greatest scale for finding a glitch. You do a snap on that and you look away for a second, you're gonna miss it. So what we wanna do is we wanna graph this frequency. I'm gonna go back to our graph scale now. Okay, we're back to our, our graph frequency. And this line right here again is 2.3 KHZ, that's 2,300 hertz. I didn't even do anything, I see a glitch right there. That should not be there. And if you look at the scan tool during that same glitch, you do not see it. Not shown on the scan tool. See glitching going on here. I am not seeing it on the scanner. Kind of hard to see that red line. Let me do a snap here. So there's my math signal on the scanner. There's my math signal on the scope. Look at the glitches in this signal. So what that confirms, none of this should be here. We're getting a, a peak of 7,500 hertz. That is way out of range of this sensor. Should be 8,500 on a peak. And so this sensor is definitely glitching and it's interesting again, this would be more of a normal pattern right here. That, that shouldn't be there. This looks great on a rapid snap, that initial spike, but this second spike again shouldn't be there and the scan tool is not showing it. Shows you the need to have a good front door tool, a good scope. You guys with me on that? All right, so what would that look like? Could we catch that with a multimeter? We definitely have a problem. Can we catch this with a multimeter? Let's try it, see if we can. All right, I got three different tools on this now. We got the scan tool up top. We got the Vantage Pro, that's Solus Pro. We got the Vantage Pro below. And I got an old meter that I had sitting around. I didn't want to use my snap on meter because I wanted to show just a regular generic meter if we could pick this up. And, and the scale that you want to be on when you're measuring this is, is your HZ scale, which is your frequency scale. So again, what you're doing is you're looking at a graphed frequency here. This is not voltage. If I looked at DC volts, this is what it would look like. An average of that square wave, which is 2.6 volts. And as I change the throttle, it doesn't really change. That's not the right way to test this. You have to be on a frequency scale. Go to a frequency scale, 2.4 KHZ, watch when I snap it. See the changes. The problem is these meters don't update fast enough. So let's take a look at the two tools side by side. You see my 2.37, 2.36. It's reading that okay, but watch on the snap. You got it? Hold on a second. Let's reset my min max. Look at that frequency, 187 kilohertz. I can't believe that this car is not setting a PO103 trouble code, which is uh, signal too high. What I want to do, I'm going to reset my min max here. And with my min max reset, you see what we're at 2.35 on the max. 2.35 here, go ahead and snap it. That's good, and we caught that 42,000 hertz, that glitch is in there. Do it again, watch the meter over here. Not gonna see it, guys. So what you have is the limitations of a multimeter in this, that if you've got a real fast glitch, you're not gonna catch it. Some of these tools do have a min-max, and I do have one on this, I wanna show you that feature. And I'm gonna use my min-max now. And I just hit the button and it says, it says, uh, it says max. So go ahead and snap it now. And what this, what that's going to do is that's going to capture and hold the max number that it sees. Go ahead, do it again. 4.7. Gotta do it again. 4.8. And, and guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going way up there again in the hundreds, hundreds of thousands of hertz, which is wrong for this sensor. I never caught it on this meter. I'm going to show you the snap on multimeter now.